so oh. it was kind of hard sometimes but mm -hmm. She just stayed away some nights. Oh, <laughs> <to speak. laughs> mm -hmm. so that was every day. We, yeah. as well. Every day, almost every day, we used to chat mm -hmm. on WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. All the updates were given. Mm -hmm. So that's how we started. No, we. Yeah. So even though you were thousands of miles away, you yeah. were still part of the journey, like you were here in Sri Lanka. So that's really beautiful. But I, we have heard that you are planning on then expanding the I Am Sri Lanka platform and really including some services like these as well. So let's speak about the future plans that you that's have, right. Isra Shiraz. Uh, well, we started this uh, you know, with a different inspiration, like I said before. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to show our own creativity in our, you know, promoting our own country. Because you know that we just um, come back after 30 years, you know, war, and of course. we are now relaxed and we have mm -hmm. freedom to do anything in our own country. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people now they are looking at our Sri Lanka, and a lot of people don't know what is the real inside, mm -hmm. how beautiful our country is, and how beautiful climate that we have. So we wanted a lot of um, you know other travel operators and travel companies. They they just promote Sri Lanka as a commercial, uh, you know prospective mm. Mm. so we don't want to do that and we didn't really do that we just wanted to show a real insight with the, personal share the beauty, beauty and personality, and of, the Sri personality of Sri Lanka okay. not only the beauty the beauty of people as well mm -hmm. how good people are people mm -hmm. and things like that so not only Samanthi's case I would like to highlight few other things as well right. uh, during the past three four months we have been getting a lot of inquiries about a lot of projects and a lot of tours and a lot mm -hmm. of you know Recently, we got one honeymoon couple who came down to Sri Lanka okay. uh, from um, Kuwait. From Kuwait, he is Mr. Abdul Aziz. Mm -hmm. yeah. Actually, he spent 21 days in Sri Lanka and four days in Maldives. Wow! And he finally decided to invest uh, on a hotel project. Mm -hmm. So, okay. yeah. So, so, so many he, opportunities in Sri Lanka. Yeah, so, and likewise, in that. Yeah. Yeah. these days we we as a Sri Lankan. I'm really proud that our people are really good people mm -hmm. and even though we get the tours we don't do the tours and travel directly mm -hmm. what we do is we have some really good suppliers mm -hmm. uh, trustworthy people who are you know really good people uh, by the service so we you know outsource it to them mm -hmm. and we take part in the tours like on a weekend we go and sit with them have me so it's a very personal personal experience. experiences okay. so likewise this mm -hmm. Mr. Abdul Aziz he wanted to you know sort of put up in a hotel Mm -hmm. in Sri Lanka and he's thinking about you know how we can you know come down here for on a yearly holiday basis so, so like these kind of opportunities are coming down mm -hmm. so I believe that um, you know this will help us and also this story will help us to grow much better and give a real real insight mm -hmm. of Sri Lanka and what we are and who we are stand for beautiful message then on Good Morning Sri Lanka to on today's show. So Samanthi, we wish you all the best as well in your future journey as well. Now what are your plans for Sri Lanka? I've heard from Isra that you're going to travel around the country with your biological mom. Yeah. yeah. And so that should be fun for you? Yeah, I at least want to see Matara. Matara? Yeah. Where, where, is that where Pujani is from? Yeah. Oh, I see. It's so really going back to the roots. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. And we wish you all the best in your thank future you. as well. And we have to thank Pujani as well, who was on the show with us earlier. She shared very candidly and very openly. She shared a lot of her story as well and how she came about and the uh, mean the consequences that led to everything. So it was be it's a beautiful story that you shared with us. Thank you so much. And thank you, Shiraz and Isra, nice. for being with us on the show and for uh, really, I, th I think that uh, it's something lovely that you've given to Samanthi as well and you're willing to give to everyone out there who's watching and Definitely. Some, the I Am Sri Lanka initiative. So if someone is interested to find out more details about I Am Sri Lanka, how can they find out these details? They have to contact us on our emails. Okay. Uh, info, yeah, info at uh, I am Sri Lanka dot LK. Mm -hmm. uh, but hopefully very soon we are planning to put up a website called oh, I, okay. I am Sri Lanka dot com. Mm -hmm. um, we'll see how it goes then. All right. <laughs> Now you're the man who's done a lot of the work as well, along with your team, of course. Still, I can't believe this. <laughs> Still, I can't believe this. What is it? But one more She's thing. She's here in Sri Lanka. Like, yeah. She has met her mother. And also, one more thing I would like to mm -hmm. highlight. Mm -hmm. um, now, you know, we have done this, and um, you know, Samanthi has a plan of how she can rebuild her mother, and how she can facilitate her mother. Okay. And she she is inquiring every time. You know, she's asked me now. Some time back, she asking me, like you know, um, 
I want to go and see the pharmacies whether she has any credit and you know, how she's that. living and mm-hmm. is there any money to be paid to anybody and mm-hmm. things like that. Mm-hmm. So th- this kind of thing shows me she's really emotional and she's really interested in her in in her mother. So you'll be there for her and she yeah. really does have some special. And also like mother that. is telling me mother is telling me uh, she doesn't want and she's not forcing her to pay her or she oh. doesn't like <laughs> to get anything from her but she's happy to see her mm-hmm. but you know this kind of things i believe uh, you know we mm-hmm. all the beauty of human nature comes human out nature doesn't comes it out. and we always hear about so many sad things over the news and over the radio and uh, over the internet but it's so lovely that we're sharing something so positive with all of you this morning and i'm so happy that i got to be a part of this story as well and to help you give it out to everyone who is watching on tv so samanthi <laughs> she also said, amaya yes. um, thank you very much uh, for providing us this opportunity <laughs> on behalf of i am sri lanka and also an thank honor. you samanthi yeah. to work with us to get this project going on and come to a good time <laughs> so and shiraz he's actually he's a full time management accountant oh, but he does this as a part time oh, so also yeah. i would like to thank my team colleague mm-hmm. the full team yeah. Oh, yes, definitely. So yeah. They've been going from house to house yeah. and everything in between. Especially day and um, night. I have to remember uh, Mr. Infar and uh, Shifan and mm-hmm. Rizwan and, and, and Mahesh. Uh, they did a lot of work with us. And thank you very much, guys. So it's a good time for you too, I believe. <laughs> definitely. So it's a great message. Thank you so much once again. And with that, we are ending this segment of Good Morning Shudaka. But do stay with us. We'll be right back after the break. We hope that we've inspired you as well with this beautiful story and of course with the I Am Sri Lanka initiative. So it's a great message that we're leaving you with with a lot of positive vibes as well. We'll be right back on Good Morning Shudaka. Stay with us.